Hi, I'm Justin Bender, Portfolio Manager at PWL Capital in Toronto, and this is Episode 7 of my Do-It-Yourself Investing Series. Today's lesson is on how to build an ETF portfolio at Questrade. For our example, we'll be purchasing the 5 ETFs from my 40% fixed income, 60% equity model portfolio. Please feel free to download the model portfolios from my blog before getting started. After reviewing our account information, we find that there's $5,000 of cash available for investment within the RSP account. We'll begin by ensuring that we're in the Stocks, Options, ETFs section of the trading screen. Next, we'll enter VCN in the Order Entry field, clicking on the fund name when it appears. This will generate a quote directly below the stock ticker. When we're buying an ETF, we'll be focusing on the ask price, which is the price per share that an investor is willing to sell the ETF to us for. To calculate the number of shares that we need to purchase, we'll use our computer's calculator. Multiplying the total account value of $5,000 by VCN's target allocation of 20%, or 0.2, gives us $1,000. We can then divide this value by the current ask price of the ETF, which is $31.23 in our example. This equals 32 shares. We can just round down to the nearest whole share. Let's go ahead and enter 32 in the quantity field. For the order type, I prefer to select limit, as this puts a cap on how much we're willing to pay for the ETF. In the limit price field, enter an amount that's a couple cents higher than the current ask price. Even if you use a higher limit price to place your trade, you'll still receive the lower ask price if it's available. The duration should be set to day, which means that your order will expire by the end of the trading day if it goes unfilled. You should also ensure that you're trading in the correct account, which is the RSP account in our example. We can then click on buy to review our trade details. You may notice a commission of $0.112 has been applied for this trade. Questrade charges Electronic Communication Network fees, or ECN fees for short, for trades that are expected to be filled immediately. Their ECN fee is $0.0035 per share. If we multiply the $0.0035 ECN fee by our 32 shares, it equals the $0.112 in commissions. Once you've had a chance to review the order details and verify that the total trade cost plus commissions is approximately the dollar amount that you'd like to purchase, you can click on Send Order. When your order's been filled, you'll receive a confirmation in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. For the next trade, we'll enter VUN as our symbol, clicking on the fund name when it appears. We'll multiply our total account value of $5,000 by 20% and divide this value by the current ask price of $41.75, which equals 23 shares. We can then enter 23 in the quantity field. We'll enter a limit price that's a couple cents above the current ask price and then click on buy. And after confirming the trade details, we'll click on send order. For the next trade, we'll enter XEF as our symbol, clicking on the fund name when it appears. We'll multiply our total account value of $5,000 by 16% and divide this value by the current ask price of $26.65, which equals 30 shares. We can then enter 30 in the quantity field. We'll enter a limit price that's a couple cents above the current ask price and then click on buy. And after confirming the trade details, we'll click on send order. For the next trade, we'll enter XEC as our symbol, clicking on the fund name when it appears. We'll multiply our total account value of $5,000 by 4% and divide this value by the current ask price of $22.69, which equals 8 shares. We can then enter 8 in the quantity field. We'll enter a limit price that's a couple cents above the current ask price and then click on buy. And after confirming the trade details, we'll click on send order. For a final trade, we'll try to use up as much of the remaining cash as possible. There's currently $2,058.66 available. We'll enter VAB as our symbol, clicking on the fund name when it appears. We'll divide our remaining cash at $2,058.66 by the current ask price of $25.51, which equals 80 shares. We can then enter 80 in the quantity field. This time, we'll enter a limit price directly at the current ask price in order to use up most of the available cash. We can then click on Buy. And after confirming the trade details, we'll click on Send Order. If you'd like to check out your new portfolio holdings, click on the Positions tab near the top left of the screen. Here we'll find that we now have about $1,000 of our portfolio in Canadian stocks, $1,000 in US stocks, $800 in international stocks, $200 in emerging market stocks, and $2,000 in Canadian bonds. If you have any questions, please feel free to send them to me by email, jbender at pwlcapital.com.